Welcome back to the channel, guys. Judo Sloth here. I hope you are having a good one. We're back on my main account for another Let's Play episode, and today it is for the Sneaky Goblins. Now, you guys, my subscribers, suggested to me that I powered up the Sneaky Goblins for the next Super Troop, so that is what we did in the previous Let's Play episode on the main account, and ultimately, I also had a couple of subscribers suggesting the Hasted Mass Sneaky Goblins, and it got me thinking, that could be pretty good. Think about it, the Sneaky Goblins take out loot incredibly fast. If you can get them to that area whilst they are sneaky and invisible, then it could be good to have the haste spells. If you want to be involved with the community here on my community tab, or just see my videos daily, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out on my content. Be sure to use code JUDO as well in game to support me. But let's get out there, let's find some huge bases and see how quickly we can farm with the mass sneaky goblins and haste spells. Oh my word. Check out this base. I'm actually going to screenshot it. You guys know that I do share some pretty cool bases that we find over on Instagram. All of my social media platforms are linked down below, guys, but check it out. I quite like it. I quite like it. 900,000 gold. Now, this is where we need to make sure we get some trophies because I need to get back to Legends League. Ultimately, <sighs> I, I haven't been attacking on my main for about a week. That's why you guys haven't seen a Let's Play episode here. But we need to get back onto it. So let's make sure we get the Dark Elixir first. And we need to try and clear all of the... Okay, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to try and clear the outside first. So let's try and use one Sneaky Goblin per outside resource. Then that means we can get rid of all of them and we need to then be able to power them all into the center. We don't want the sneaky goblins running all over. We've got to make sure that we get through. Then, hmm. Now, the gold is what we want, but we don't want to miss the town hall. That's kind of the purpose of this video as well, to see how quickly we can haste them through. So, I feel... Are they going to run up here? No, they shouldn't. If I put a jump spell here and a jump spell here... We should be able to trickle the sneaky goblins in. Let's use a haste to get them through this first area. Look at them go. Now go to the town hall, goblins. Ah, it's not activated. Activate it. Go to the... Oh, no, there's an elixir storage down there. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Come on, sneaky goblins. Go to that town hall. In you go. In you go. Let's get the Grand Warden's ability on them as well. Let's take a closer look at this as they power forward. Come on, they get through. And they get it. Yes! Straight down. That is beautiful. Oh my... I forgot that I had deployed my Grand Warden. He's in the middle of the base fried. He stood no chance. Well, it is pretty fast in order to farm. This guy won't have a clue what happened. 26 left. I think we should probably see how quick they can get through a wall. So let's try and haste them to this area, and let's see how quick they get through the wall and to the gold storage. Come on. Come on, goblins. Oh, they're not getting through too quick. They got... Once they were through the wall, the gold storage went down relatively quick, but getting to it was not ideal. I think that might be all we can get here, guys. I don't really want to spend too much more. That was relatively good, but let's see if we can find a base that has even more loot and hopefully... I don't know. Should we go for the two stars or should we just go for the loot? Let's see what we find. There is nothing better than coming back to base and finding this. That you forgot about your star bonus. Don't tell me my treasury is full. Oh, it is! I don't even know if that was full at the start or not. Oh, we're not doing very well today, guys. That is our gold capped up. I'm going to take a second here and think about what I'm going to upgrade. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything drastic, guys. When we look at the upgrades, you guys actually told me about this, that you can scroll up and down. For whatever reason, that had erased itself from my mind. Does that ever happen to you when you know something, but then you forget that you know something? That's exactly what happened to me, because I never used that feature. However, 
I think for the Dark Elixir drills, I want to upgrade them together. I think it would be kind of cool. Um, as you know, my friend Beaker's Lab, he tends to upgrade things in bulk, and I just think it's pretty exciting. And the Dark Elixir drill, I, I kind of want to do that. A brand new level. Let's go with the gold mine, because we've only got one gold mine to upgrade. And also, we have, for whatever reason, one little measly bomb, which is lower than the others. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. At least it gives us the ability to get some more gold. And where are we at? We should be relatively good here. What spells have I wasted? Jump spells. I didn't get them in the background. So I'll take another minute or so. We've got the boost going and then we'll come back when we have another base ready to attack. Why is it that every base we find that has pretty good loot has no trophies? I need to push back to Legends League. This one has eight trophies. But it does have a good amount of loot. How am I finding someone in Champions? I don't get it. I guess we are in Titan too, so it's not too bad. But anyways, Town Hall, how do we get that? We've got to get into the DE. This one's a little bit trickier to get the pathing for the goblins. So let's see what we can do on the outside of the base first. Try and take out all of the resources on the outside. Again, one sneaky goblin is pretty good to just do an exchange. And then two sneaky goblins can take down a storage. So one for any resource building. Normally two for a storage, but the scattershot did get us there. So I will commit one more to that. Normally it's two per storage, roughly. And now we should be able to power in. Now here's the difficulty. We need to come in. Let's, let's path where they will go here. Let's try and predict it. So they'll first come to the gold storage. They should then move to the DE. And then they should come to the town hall. There's nothing else near. I don't think they'll be drawn up to the gold storage over there. So I think we should be pretty good here. Let's go with the jump. Actually, we completely forgot about the elixir storage there. But it doesn't really make too much difference. Let's just sneak a couple in. Of the goblins, we do get the skeleton trap out, but if we just get a couple in, it means that they should go to the DE drill next. The DE storage, sorry. And let's try and now power them forward. Once we've got that drill, we can activate the town hall, continue to push them in, then let's go with the haste. Come on, goblins. Go to that town hall. Oh my word, they are getting shredded. Let's haste them forward a little bit here. Oh my word! That's not what we needed, guys. Um, let's... Uh, we're gonna have to push them in again. Grand Warden's ability again, I think. Come on, boys. Let's get the Town Hall this time. So they get that. They come forward. They're under a heck of a lot of damage here. Oh, they missed it! They actually missed it! Wow, so they are not the best strategy in terms of a mass format. Don't tell me we're gonna miss the... The, uh, the two star here. I think if we... We might not get the battle blimp into the town hall. This is, this is pretty scary. Let's actually go with the king, the queen, the royal champ. If I get the air defense, I should then be able to get my, uh, my battle blimp, bimp, battle blimp. Can't even speak right now, guys. I am flabbergasted. We need to get this done. We should then be able to get the battle blimp to the town hall, one would hope. So royal champ going through. We can power that in. Come on, Royal Champ, get that air defense. Air defense going down. King's ability. We do have the battle blimp coming forward. We've got 20 seconds. We've got 20 seconds. Let's get you on the full screen mode so you can see the town hall went down. What took it down? I didn't even see. Something took the town hall down. We needed to get that because since there's only eight trophies on offer, we would have lost 34. So... I think we can show that these sneaky goblins, they are brilliant for farming the outside of the base. If you're not interested in trophies, they could be relatively good, but with the haste spells, I think it's probably more a case of just getting the storages, getting the outside buildings, and getting out of there, forgetting about the trophies. But let's do one more and see if we can redeem ourselves. So I know this one doesn't have a huge amount of loot, but I think it will perfectly demonstrate that the hasted goblins is actually a good thing if you only want to get the loot. If you do not care about trophies, I think it's actually pretty good. Now, the reason I think that is check this out. 
if we were to put some sneaky goblins here to take out the storages first and ultimately make sure that these sneaky goblins would go straight to the town hall watch how quick they get there and watch how quick they get through it as well so let's use them right to the bottom here i don't want any chance of them not going to the town hall and they get through the elixir collectors and the gold mines here pretty quick don't they i think they are pretty sneaky and they are pretty super let's just be honest let's take a look at the dark elixir storage over there as well before we power them into the town hall show you just how quick they get through it so normally guys it is two sneaky goblins for a storage for a storage whether that be a gold storage an elixir storage the de storage you can use them just for funneling as well so purely in your war attacks if there's a storage on the outside of the base you easily need to funnel it the sneaky goblins might be a good option they're awesome let me know in the comments what's your favorite super troop have you been using the sneaky goblins i certainly i think they're cool i i haven't had the opportunity to farm with them as much as i would like to but let's use the earthquake let's use the jump spell and let's see what well, i think maybe 10 let's put 10 in let's see what happens let's go to the full zoomed screen for you guys they get there they're starting to go down fast oh they just weren't quick enough for that town hall so let's go ahead and put one haste spell in here right on the jump spell and i think that will be the difference maker i think that will be the difference maker oh they get there pretty quick look and they still didn't get it that's interesting but they did get there a little bit quicker and that ultimately meant that they did more damage so haste spells can be oh my word they still didn't get it <laughs> it is a maxed out town hall 13 though guys now get in there sneaky goblins you take that down so at least we do get the trophies I, it's a bit of fun guys you guys suggested it i thought let's try it let me know what you think would you use the haste spell i think it's probably useful to have one or two of them maybe in your army composition they certainly take down loot pretty quickly but i think i would probably farm purely because i'm interested in trophies as well with like queen charge miners or something still i don't know though lower down if you are blasting through a town hall 11 i think it could be useful if you do want to see the previous let's play episode on my main account though i've linked it on your screen here right now hopefully you've enjoyed this one just a little bit of fun goofing around with these sneaky goblins but we do try and bring you some education but keep it entertaining as well throughout all of the videos so be sure to check out the previous let's play if not though guys i will be sure to see you here on the channel again tomorrow until then be sure to stay home stay safe and have a good one